Hey guys, welcome back to a monthly upload. Yay! Um, today, we're gonna do a little bit more of like a IRL video. Um, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show off my record collections in this little wooden thing. I have my record player all the way in the back because I haven't really plugged it in recently, but I still love to collect these things and waste all my money on them. So first off in the front, we have the more recent Voivod collection. First record we have is Nothing Face. It's a pretty good one, I like that one. Next up, we have Dimension Hatros. I have a poster of it right up above here. That's how much I love it. And also came with a poster. Killing Technology. I like this one too. I, I love all the Voivod stuff. All great, all great. Best band of the 80s. Next we got Creator Extreme Aggression, 1989. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Same year as Nothing Face. I should start saying the years now to add more. Pleasure to Kill by Creator. I literally have the poster right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool, right? Yeah, isn't that so cool? I like that album. 1993, Individual Thought Patterns. The best death album. Um, no arguing with there. I don't care what you say. I do not care what you say. Death Human. Like that one. I love, I can even say I love that one. All death records are good. Everybody tries arguing, which is the best one. Even though all of them are masterpieces. Sprain Disease Anthrax, probably their best one. 1985. Fistful of Metal, very, very, I can even say underrated album. Very good debut, very good debut. Rust in Peace by Megadeth, no introductories to that album right there. Zero, zero. I oh, damn it, put it away. <laughs> Megadeth, Killing is My Business with the original album cover. Probably, I like this this album cover more than the remastered one. I like the look of Eddie on that cover. Pretty cool. Next is the Metallica stuff. Black album. No introductory right there. I don't even need, I don't even need to talk about all these Metallica albums, actually. And Justice. Boobs. Isn't that so funny, guys? It's so funny. Mooster of Poopits, the Stranger Things album, so I can relate to all the kitties, all the nine-year-olds out there. Ride the Lightning, every 14-year-old's favorite metal album. <laughs> Kill 'em All, it got a little dinked there because somebody might have dropped it. I'm not going to say who, but somebody dropped it. Also, like, probably, like, my favorite metal album not favorite metal uh, favorite metal album cover that's what i meant to say seventh son of a seventh son pretty good pretty good i like that one i like that one a lot somewhere in time best maiden album right there best one i like i like the futuristic style of that one power slave Power Slave. We love uh, powering the slaves. Um, Peace in Mind. I this I think this might be an, actually a, an original one because it's like all dinked up and it actually has like a poster that like looks very old. And yeah. Number of the Beast. Deluxe edition. I can open it up. 
has all that stuff on it. Isn't that so cool? And then Killers. I have a jacket of that. I'm going to be wearing that to my Iron Maiden concert I'm going to be going to in October. So hype. First record, legendary, legendary record. Metal wouldn't be where it is today without it. Next is Slayer. Seasoning the Obese by S.O.D. I'm just playing. I'm just playing around. S.O.D. is a funny band, though. I don't have any of their albums, though. I have to keep a lookout for theirs. South of Heaven. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Rain and Blood. Pretty cool, but a little bit overrated. Not gonna lie. People might get mad at that, but come on, cancel me. You won't, you won't. <laughs> just joking. Slayer, Live Undead. My only, I think my only live album on here. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Haunting the Chapel, another Slayer. Probably the best metal EP of all time. All right, now we're getting to the ones where I only have single albums of them. Armored State, Raising Fear. Very, very underrated, underappreciated album right there. Very good. Painkiller by Judas Priest. Need to get more, more of their stuff. Definitely not like the most important metal band of all time. Possessed, Seven Churches. Arguably the first death metal album, but it's death. Merciful Fate, Melissa. It's also another great album cover. I love that one. And <laughs> my only non-metal records, Tribe Called Quest, Low End Theory. My favorite hip-hop album of all time. And... Enter the Wu-Tang by Wu-Tang Clan. 36 Chambers. Very good. Very good. I like that one. I like that one. And that's it. That's literally about it. Um, more videos coming soon, maybe. You're just going to have to wait. All right. See you, see you, see you, see you.